the final group, um, and certainly not least by any means, Griffith College's Industry Active Professional Educators. It's a marvellous, a marvellous title. And their expert mentor is Fiona O'Riordan. And I gather they're now going to entertain us in a very different way indeed. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's great to be with you all today. Thank you for this opportunity and to the National Forum for the opportunity to engage with this profession development framework. Um, we love it um, as a group. We're delighted to have an opportunity to, I suppose, expose our uh, profession development achievements to and map them to a framework. Joe talked earlier about exposure. We're going to expose ourselves today. Terry and Roshin are terrible bullies, and they keep saying, go for it, do something different. So we're going to try something different. Um, we're going to introduce ourselves, showing some artifacts to represent ourselves from industry. Um, we're going to say hello to you in a variety of different ways, some heartfelt ways just from the heart, just speaking to you, others in poems and little ditties. So without further ado, I'll pass over to my colleagues. That's me. Yes. Good morning. Um, I was asked to bring something that re represents who I am and what I do, so I brought a stopwatch. And sitting down there, I am thinking, my profession is still alive, because every group of you mentioned what? Time. So I manage time, and I manage people, and I manage productivity, and I make sure that people are professional and that they're all what to do is time and it's all managed. So that's what I do outside of work. Now I, I, that man there m mentioned a word called the interloper. Well me I feel that I'm an interloper here with all of these professionals. I am not a teacher, I am not a lecturer, I am a management consultant but I lecture. So now I have a problem in that I know what I do and I'm good at it because people ask me to do it. Now I have to go into a college and impart that to students. And this is the first time, I suppose, that I have had to stop and think and say, who am I? What am I? Where have I come from? And what do I need to do to impart my skill on to the people that I am with? So now I think my minute is up. No, sorry, I haven't the joke. I have still 10 seconds because we were told we only have a minute. So <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, I'm finished. Thank you. Hello. How are we doing? Good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk about the model ADA. Some of you might have heard of it. Sorry, I have a lot of props here making noise. Apologies. So ADA, uh, the A stands for attention, assistance. Uh, the I stands for interest. The D stands for desire. Thank you. And the A stands for action. So what does this mean to teaching and learning? Well, I'm a marketing professional. It's central to communications, and I'm also a teacher. So it enables me, through the teaching forum, to be able to bring this to life. The teaching forum and the professional development has enabled me to be validated, to be relevant in the industry. And when I asked my, asked my clients and marketing community to come in and guest lecture and give product, projects, they never say no. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ian Malloy, and in my real job, I am a psychotherapist. When I thought about what artifact I could bring, as somebody who's also a teacher, I looked at the research, and the research overwhelmingly indicates that the biggest predictor of successful therapeutic outcome is the therapeutic relationship. And the biggest driver of the therapeutic relationship is the use of self, so that's me. So I am the artifact for my profession. Our profession is going through some turmoil and change at the minute and regulation of our profession is imminent via government. So I'm in the humbling and privileged position of lecturing on the undergraduate programme based in Griffith College. And working with Fiona really made me think 
about developing myself, not just as a professional psychotherapist, but as a professional teacher, somebody who is shouldering the responsibility of creating and helping the next generation of psychotherapists. I found it difficult, it drove me to critically reflect upon myself, and it was difficult finding the time to do it. But all over, I think I will be a much better teacher for engaging with Fiona's project. Thank you. Hello, my name is Wendy Doyle and outside my teaching practice I work as an artist and commercial interior designer. I transition interior space from one thing to another, or paint a thought onto canvas, into reality, out of vagueness, from the abstract to the concrete. But you can see the finished product. That place you got drunk in last night, I designed that, that's right. But it's hard to show when you have worked beyond the call of duty long hours because you believe that student really can achieve when they don't. The PDF makes you look at what you have done outside the bricks of your institution and what you could do better, giving a site map of the profession. Those mines that you have polished, those walls that you demolished, by day, and by night, you did that, that's right. Good morning. Uh, I, when I'm not teaching, I'm an interior designer running my own practice, and in Griffith College I teach in interior design. The two props I brought from my teaching and professional life is measuring tape and sketch paper. Uh, it's also two things I torment my students to bring into every class, so they're sick of it. Uh, so why the measuring tape? It's all good to uh, talk about uh, educational theories, but I think um, it's about making it real and measuring your own space and bring it back to reality and your own teaching. Uh, the, the sketch paper is um, about... Um, you can talk about... Um, an idea uh, till the proverbial cows come home, but until you put pen to paper, um, you haven't actually uh, formed your idea. So like in, in the course here, to actually be forced to write things down is an active act of creating your ideas. That's it. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Tara Cheevers. I am an accountant. And from an accountancy point of view, I can look at ledgers and ream off numbers to beat the band. Um, this group, I suppose, from a teaching point of view, has made me reflect more on the fact that my rep the repetitive nature of my accountancy work means that sometimes I ca get caught up in the amount I know I'm doing it all the time, that when you're with students, they don't have the knowledge you have. So sometimes you have to reflect, you have to take a step back, slow down, and realize who is in front of you, and you have to focus on them. So from a teaching point of view, my philosophy is that every day is a new learning day. You never actually stop learning. I learn every day, I teach. So today I brought with me a checkbook and a lodgement book. The checkbook, or the lodgement book represents the knowledge deposited and learned for me to return to in the future. My checkbook then represents the knowledge withdrawal. When I go to my knowledge bank of expertise and experience and I impart that knowledge onto my students. Every day is another day of learning. I make knowledge deposits every day and build up on that bank until I need to withdraw that knowledge in the future and pass it on to my students. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share with you an artefact that I feel reflects my role as an industry professional, a music producer and an educator. I've chosen the microphone. The microphone is an, an essential tool in music production, but it is also symbolic of the importance of sharing our knowledge, listening and continuous learning. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone. I'm a um student, a design professional, and a teacher, and a student again. 
Uh, for me, the uh, most important part of the PD illustration isn't actually the balloon or the telescope, it's in fact uh, the ballast. Um, and um, I, I, like, as part of the PD and even in my own professional exercise and as a teacher, uh, controlling or uh, balancing how much we engage or reflect uh, on what we do is, uh, has been the kind of most entertaining and also uh, biggest challenge. Um, the tool that I use and have used from my early days as a student and up till today is actually the notebook. Uh, it basically, it's a way of documenting a kind of, uh, unrefined and uh, tangible and also uh, nuanced things that go through us. Uh, and this whole exercise has been a very uh, successful way in kind of engaging and uh, linking uh, being a professional, a teacher and a student. Thank you. And finally, um, I'd like to finish up with a, a silly ditty. Uh, my profession is professional educator, um, and I'm very proud of my profession. I don't get an opportunity to wear this gown very often, so forgive me, I'm wearing it now. So, what is a professional educator? Someone who spends time filling empty mugs with their full jug. That's me. Someone who wears a fancy gown, a mortarboard hat. Again, that's me. Someone who likes the sound of their own voice. Someone who likes a lot of attention and isn't too concerned about retention. So you see, thank you. <laughs> so you see, I am a professional educator. It's very unlikely I'll get much greater. That's why I don't need to engage in this newfangled professional development framework. I'm going to stand up on my professional pedestal wearing my beautiful gown and a smirk. Thank you very much. And thank you from the front team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>